Mark Montone is not only known in, in the technology field, but also contributes to helping teachers, students, and students with disabilities to be the best that they can be. We need to keep researching and looking for different tools and different types of content to give the children to learn. Well, three things. I believe challenges is the number one, because without challenges, um, you can't be innovative in this field, okay? So you need challenges. It's like everything else. When we make mistakes, we learn from our mistakes. In, the way I perceive what enriched content, I want them to have the best available tools out there. I want teachers to be trained to the extent that they're very fluent in understanding what to implement in the classroom, using it appropriately, and um, be, really being able to um, absorb a lot of the content and the benefits that the technology has. You always seem to be on the cutting edge. What is your motto? I think it comes from an uh, uh, inspirational quote by George Evans, and it's basically every child can learn, not in the same way and not on the same day. And it's through that is where you need to find what these children can learn through, and not just always take what is given to you that day and expect them to learn it. We need to keep researching and looking for different tools and different types of content to give the children to learn. And what I like to do is I look for challenges. Challenges are presented with me, okay, to me. And what I want to do is from those challenges create solutions, okay? And from those solutions you're going to see the successes. And that's what keeps driving me, okay? So the more challenges, you know, in special education you, are, you, you do have a lot of challenges. Your day is never the same. And that makes me motivated to try even harder. Because the technology that are being placed in classrooms is so great right now that teachers can't keep up with it, okay? We yes. they need something larger that they can visually see something. It's at the iPad, it's something more concentrated and isolated onto the desk. Then you look at the content. Does it something from the app store you can buy or is it something customized? So in our program, in the ABA program here, we use third-party applications, okay, so more stuff you'll find in the app store. Then there's things that we use third-party applications, okay, so more stuff you'll find in the app store. Then there's things that we need specifically made that I would do in, um, for my class uh, on my, um, you know, whether it's the MacBook or whether it's the iPad. It's finding those tools and bringing those in a seamless manner together without compromising the content, uh, making sure you're addressing the standard that you're focusing on, and making sure that that outcome is positive and innovative. Keep abreast on all the research, networking through all different um, technology fields, education professionals, um, to provide the best outcome for any child in any means possible. And if it's through technology, then it's whether it's through developing something or it's through sitting down and training the teachers on specific topics. Um, it's just advocating the use of technology in a positive manner and making sure that they have the support to implement it in the class. Thank you, Mr. And Dr. Hernandez, and good evening, everyone, and thank you, members of the Board of Ed and Dr. Toback, for the opportunity to present Mark uh, Matone, uh, Wallace Teacher of the Year. Mark Matone is currently a lead teacher in the Hoboken Applied Behavior Analysis, or ABA, program for educating children with autism. He graduated from Keene University with a Bachelor of Arts and a teacher of the Handicapped in Caldwell College with a Master's of Art in Applied Behavior Analysis. In the field of special education in Bergen County Special Service School District in Bernards Township, he has taught children with diverse disabilities through teaching in multiple disabled preschool programs. He applies 
uh, classrooms and eventually ABA programs that he developed over the years. In the Hoboken ABA preschool program, he applies specialized instruction delivered through ongoing in-depth educational assessments and data analysis on learning behavior and skills for a student. Each of his students receives individualized instruction that requires specific sets of materials. He uses traditional materials and innovative technologies to accomplish meeting the needs of his students. Mark is a proponent in enhancing his instruction through using technology, specifically the iPad. He has been crafting the use of the iPad for children with autism and other disabilities since inception in 2010. He not only uses commercial apps, but has developed ways to customize content that can be easily be placed on the iPad for implementation. Mark's contributions and accomplishments in the field of education are demonstrated in various environments and domains in the, that include the technology field, school district, community, and home environments. He has presented in district workshops on topics including using iPads in education and autism applied behavior analysis. When Mark is not teaching, is active in various organizations providing techno technological and or educational support. Organizations include Hoboken Cares, Praise, and NCPD Autism Task Force. Hoboken Cares is an effort that provides free workshops to the community on topics related to individuals with disabilities, hoping to increase understanding and awareness. Uh, Mark has dedicated his entire professional career to field special education, to, in the field of special education. He has shared his knowledge with parents and educators locally, domestically, and internationally. His passion for teaching children with special needs evolved when he worked as an instructional assistant with children with disabilities 19 years ago. He has never looked back since. Although teaching children with special needs can be challenging at times, it is also very rewarding. Mark believes all children, despite the obstacles, deserve the highest quality of education possible so they can learn to their maximum potential and lead a productive life, life as independently as possible. I am glad that his colleagues at Wallace and across the Hoboken School District recognize his tremendous talents. It has been an honor and privilege to work with Mark this year. Students, staff, and parents alike enjoy working with him. He has been very helpful to me as I became familiar with the ABA program. I believe the most important thing to know about Mark is his immense passion for what he does and the care and attention he gives to every student he comes in contact with. Thank you, Mark, for being an exemplary model of what education is all about. Congratulations, Mark, on your selection as the Teacher of the Year for the Wallace Elementary School and the Hoboken School District. Okay, at this time, I'd like to um, call up any of the teachers of the years if they want to say a few words to the Board of Education. <laughs> Not meant to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have something prepared. It just happened to be in my pocket. <laughs> um, being uh, selected to there for Wallace is an honor in its own right, but to be accepted and chosen to represent a school district filled with such talent is extremely humbling. There are so many people that have influenced my teaching over the career. Excuse me. I've carried their ideas and thoughts with me each day in my classroom. I want to thank my colleagues, some of the most talented people I've ever worked with in my career. I'd also like to thank Dr. Toback, Dr. Hernandez, Dr. Mr. Bally, Mr. Fitzgibbons, Ms. Morales, and the Hoboken Board of Education. Accepting this award would not be right without acknowledging everyone who support my class. So I'd also like to include my talented aides, the office staff, the custodians, security guards. Each one of you played an important role to the success of my students. Those simple hellos when you greet my students are far greater than anyone can imagine. Sorry. We all take simple exchanges for granted, but for my students, it's one of the first building blocks in building their educational future that sometimes is the most difficult. So in closing, I'd like to extend my serious thank you to the students who worked so hard despite their obstacles and their parents who provide unwavering support. Thank you.